A warm welcome to our drive lab. Today is about energy. This small propeller here is powered by a battery. But of course, we can do it all a lot more environmentally friendly than this. With this small model here, I can generate electricity without a battery at all. One decisive component makes this work, the fuel cell. And that is exactly what we want to look at more closely. First, we need hydrogen and oxygen, because a fuel cell needs both of these gases to work. The gases go along these tubes here into the fuel cell. There is a chemical reaction, and the end product is electrical energy. As we see, the propeller turns. Simple, yet brilliant. The whole thing is extremely scientific, of course, in a simplified manner. But with this test model, we can't see the really exciting part. And that is what really happens inside a fuel cell. I'll show you this now. The heart of a fuel cell consists of a positive pole, a negative pole, and a membrane, which separates them. Controlled amounts of hydrogen and oxygen are now let into the fuel cell to generate energy. However, the membrane only lets the protons pass through. That is the positively charged particles of the hydrogen atoms. The electrons, the negative hydrogen particles, must take a detour and generate electric energy on the way. Finally, the hydrogen and oxygen atoms combine, and the result is water. So, fuel cells change chemical energy into electrical energy. But because a single fuel cell generates about one volt of power, in practice, many fuel cells are often sandwiched to multiply the amount of the energy generated. For example, a fuel cell stack looks like this. This fuel cell sandwich, or stack as they are called in the industry, it combines around 40 fuel cells. This corresponds to about 15 kilowatts. For example, you could power a forklift with this. To power a car, as for example the Mercedes-Benz B-Class F cell, you need about six of these fuel cell stacks, and it can reach a maximum speed of 170 kilometers per hour. Mercedes-Benz has been researching fuel cell systems for over two decades. To explain what this technology technology means for automobile drive and what differentiates it from customary internal combustion engines, we spoke to Arvid Nistroy, head of the Mercedes-Benz F-Cell project. The fuel cell system is a very efficient drive, about twice as efficient as an internal combustion engine, and the biggest advantage is, of course, that it does not generate any emissions. A lot has happened over the last few years in fuel cell research. But which development steps were necessary to bring this technology onto the market? Here's the answer. The most important progress in the development of fuel cell vehicles over the last few years is the improvement in range, the improvement in performance, and the ensuring of the cold start ability at low temperatures. Fuel cell technology is fit for series production, as Mercedes-Benz shows. And from us, that's it for today. Goodbye, and see you next time here in the Drive Lab.